Nick Ferrari at breakfast on LBC. And I'll certainly be asking Mr Goldsmith his views on the extension of the cycle superhighway. Now, you heard here on LBC exclusively, actually, that London's A40 West Way could feature a segregated bike route, according to detailed consultation plans that were brought to us by our political editor, Theo Ushwood. Also, two more cycle routes have been proposed, linking Bloomsbury to the West End, Farringdon to King's Cross. Other proposals include banning rush hour traffic from Regent's Park in support of cyclists. Mayor Johnson says the plans would ensure London's cycling revolution continues. My goodness, what a revolution it has been. Carlton Reid is executive editor of Bike Biz and author of Roads Were Not Built for Cars. What do you mean by the title of that book? Good morning. It's a history book. Ah. So it's talking about how cyclists were the ones who created the road system and also created uh, the cars that drive on that, that road system. So thank cyclists. Thank cyclists for creating cars. And roads. Sorry, just remind me how cyclists created cars. Bringing them back into use. Sorry, how did did cyclists create cars in a sentence? I don't understand. Uh, Well, Carl Benz was a cyclist. Carl Benz bought uh, all the parts for the first world's first automobile. That's like saying pedestrians invented cars, then. Uh, Or meat meat eaters invented cars. I mean, you could take this anywhere, couldn't you? Well, you could, but when when the world's first car is bought on a bike shop... That's not just a pedestrian shop, that's a bike shop. Well, you could say buses invented cars, because Lancia was a bus maker, and they went on to make one of the well, first no, Italian cars. Buses are inanimate objects, they can't invent anything. All right, well, let's come back to what is happening now in London. Uh, your view on the, what the mayor describes as, what are we here, the cycling revolution? My view is, well, it, it's, it's fabulous, and you'll find that 73% of businesses in London also think it, it's wonderful. Royal Mail... British Library, NHS England, Civil Aviation Authority, lend Deloitte, Microsoft, they all came out in support of the, the London cycle of uh, superhighways and, and uh, the revolution. What about the people who perhaps don't have as much impact? White Van Man, the people we were speaking to on our report there who are trying to get plumbing kit, electrical kit, film cameras, whatever it might be, not the voice of support, their voices of support there, Mr Reid? Uh, well, of course not, because they, they assume that space has been taken away from, from motor traffic. If you look at the embankment where Theo was, what's been taken away has been all the, the, the coaches that park there. That's where the cycle superhighway is. So it hasn't actually taken away any well, it, moving it, 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 motor traffic. It's just where the Well, it has. It's, it's brought us down to one carriageway. Uh, and, but you're going to get an awful lot more people along there no but, no, but it has it taken has it has taken there. it's not actually finished yet so the of course you're going to get people not cycling on the super cycle super highway yet because it's not actually fully completed you, you've got to wait until these things are no but what you what we, we don't have to wait to see that we have taken a carriage way away and that can't make sense you'll be aware of what's called the white van revolution with people using Amazon and other services. I can't think what they are, but you know what I'm talking about. Google and goodness knows what else. So there's more white vans zipping around with packages, and this is at a time when we restrict the road use. Uh, Well, if that was the case, if, if, say, a large uh, delivery service was uh, not in favour of this, they would say the Royal Mail says the proposed changes could delay vehicles on some routes. Look, just because the Royal Mail says it's right... Even the Royal Mail, which you're talking about there support the cycles of the well, highways. I, 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 respectfully, I don't really care about the Royal Mail. I'm thinking about the bloke who gets paid about pound fifty a package. He's delivering for Amazon. He needs to get around London quickly. I'm thinking about the man or woman who's the electrician, who's the film technician, who now much of their day is just spent in traffic as they look at a cycle superhighway, which in some cases is not even being used because cyclists choose to use the regular road anyway. Because it's not fully... No, open. but you know that where our reporter it's was, it's all built, Mr Reid. You know that. Well, you don't. I'm sorry, I can assure you. When the M1 was built in 1959, there was no cars on it. You could see it for six months, no cars. Nobody was using it. Six months later, it was incredibly packed. It was exactly the same with London cycling superhighways. They yeah, but, are going to be uh, increasingly used. But, you will see but no one was suffering as a result of the building of the M1. I mean, what, uh, a, 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 fa- a family that wants to go to the zoo... How does a family... Every, these people who these are behind this seem to think that everyone can take to a bicycle. If you have, if it still exists, the nuclear family of mum, dad and two children, and they want to go to the zoo, and they'd like to go in their car, which currently is not a crime, they can't really do it unless they want to book out two hours to get there. Well, 
I thought you were talking about commercial traffic. You're now talking about something completely different. So you can't take that on board, that I've changed the subject for you? Is it that, is it that big a problem for you? take their car <laughs> in London uh, for a discretionary journey, they are perfectly able, as you say, it's not illegal, they can do that. But they'll be stuck in lots and lots of traffic. Not because they'll, they'll be stuck in lots and lots of traffic lots because, of they've lost, because they've lost a carriageway to bicycles. No, they haven't lost the carriageway to bicycle. Why, why won't you accept that the road that you... Why won't you accept that the embankment... But why won't you accept that the very bit of road that you highlighted, respectfully, you got it absolutely wrong because they have lost a carriageway. I've been there. I know this road. I go on it about every other day. I know that it's down to one lane. I want to cycle on it. And when I cycle on it, I cycle on a bit of the cycle superhighway. And, and it's it down off, to one I carriageway. the road again, because it's, fi- it's not finished. And, and motorists have lost a carriageway that cyclists have now got. And that's motorists have not lost a carriageway. Well, I don't know what you can't see about two carriages. If you can't see that, t- if you can't see that two lanes go into one, I think possibly we'll respectfully have to review each other's positions because what, why you can't get that two lanes become one means you've lost one carriageway. I'm talking about heading in the same direction. Perhaps that's where the distinction is. Uh, I sense we're never going to get beyond it, but I'm grateful for your input. All right, more on that. Your views on the disastrous cycle superhighway. I wonder what Zach Goldsmith thinks of it. Plus. Th-